Good morning, fam. Just two homies. I forgot his leash in the car. Got the stain? Oh. Um, Adam wanted to sleep in a little bit. He told me last night he wanted to catch up on sleep. But we got to do Bagel Sunday live. So um, in this area, there's not a lot of bagel spots. At least none that looked really appetizing. So we're just going to use it as an opportunity for Tim Hortons to see if they uh, can kind of redeem themselves. So I'm going to take Brisket out for a little walk. It's going to be a short one because it's cold out. And then we're going to go try to find uh, Tim Hortons nearby and give him another shot. Well, look at this. There's snow in the summer. Oh, don't want to. What do you think, bud? A little cold? This is the first time we've seen snow this year. All right. Also, I'm wearing shorts, but it's actually like, it's so funny. It's only because it's snowing doesn't mean that it's like cold, cold, but it is like I, I am cold, but there's been days in Rhode Island, New England, where it's there's no snow and it's just the temperature just drops so crazy so this is kind of like a mild snow but there's a little pool behind brisket here all right we're not in kansas anymore so again we're gonna i'm gonna put brisket's car seat up front so you can see a little better um and then uh i think today is kind of our sightseeing day it's kind of weird that it landed on the day that it's snowing but them's them's is the bricks what's weird is this is like the office space and it has a worse light all right it's adam's uh, review of home two suites all right guys we just got done with the live brisket we're gonna give him a little toy here while i shower Brisket gets his own bag. Is that toy? Excuse me? <laughs> no, I said a little toy. Or I might have said his little toy. All right, so we'll put this in here. What's a baby? You gonna get it? And right, I'll keep him busy for a few minutes while I shower. In French? Linguina. Linguina? Linguina. Linguina? Don't worry, trash guys. Just uh, the brisket to have a little bit of independent time. Should have uh, got a little, little brisket girl. Oh my god. We're not in that part of Quebec then. Le brisket. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting. You know, sometimes I feel me because I know you're going to say something. So I, let's see what he's going to say. I'm not doing a jacket. No. I'm going to show him. I'm going to show these Canucks how to do it. By the way, I keep asking people. I keep asking them. Is Canucks a bad bike? Is it one of those stupid terms? Or they, they're okay with it? No one's answered me. So also, I need to get a razor. And we're gonna stop by the pet store too for brisket because uh, Adam forgot some of his toys in the other hotel room. Yeah. You forgot something over there too. Your dignity. Also, Adam asked me. That's like, actually probably, I probably left it in the hotel room. God damn it. Uh, you think they have it there? No, oh, what, what am I gonna do? Track down one pin? So if anybody ever asks me, do I know Adam? Do I know him too well? I definitely, I, I do know him. Water. Right, fam. First Walmart experience here. They get the fancy little cover. We don't get these in New England. They're a little fancier here. Can't get the hair wet. So, was I supposed to stop way over there for all the yellow? I don't understand the rules here. The, the guy was he was literally the guy was literally staring all 
Adam's been uh, feeling very feisty here in the Walmart experience. I'm also very upset at some of those prices here. Watch what I got behind you. Look at these guys. These are like these are like hold it in. these are like seventy <laughs> cents. Couldn't hold, hold in the Baileys. Couldn't hold it in. That's why we can't take Adam anywhere. I'm a deep and delicious. <laughs> okay. So these would these would be literally a dollar fifty in America. Why I gotta come all the way to Canada and get the the stuff for cheap? Okay, this is upsetting too. All the all the dog toys we're stocking up. All the dog toys are like half off here. Like all these toys, look at it, these are five dollar Canadian, which is about like three and change, maybe four bucks, four bucks American. Like, I think I bought brisket this, and it was about that much in American. It's 25% cheaper here. So we're gonna grab brisket, some toys, because he's been such a good boy. And because dad forgot, sadly, some of his stuff back in, um, back in one of the old hotel rooms. It's not my proudest moment. Sorry, Brisket, I still love you. All right, guys, uh, we just did a little bit of shopping at Wally World. Uh, we just, we went in for chapstick, soap, and razors. And uh, we came out like Christmas. So, but one of the- They made us pay for the, our bag. They did make us pay for it. Which bag. is totally fine. I don't mind paying for that. I'd rather pay for That's a cool. freaking bag and save money throughout everywhere else. It's so much cheaper in Canada, let me tell you. Like, no we, joke. They are absolutely... By the way, most of these freaking companies are based in the United States, which infuriates me even more. Um, they A lot of the candy was like 20 35% off than what we pay in the States. Uh, briskets... That was briskets the exchange. That was before the exchange. Right. All right, fam, this is our current situation right now. Perfect day to visit old Quebec where we get to see all the sights 10 feet in front of us only. So, there we go. I'm gonna blame Adam on this, especially for him messing with all the temperature controls. You have it set to 110 and we're gonna get out in the cold and we're not gonna be able to, you know. 110, he says. <laughs> What's going on here? Thanks for me. You're a mini-me. And you just got this because I'm a bigger dude? You said you finished it. <laughs> this in the car. I'm crazy. How long is it going to take? I don't know. Let's order this. All right. Let's see. What do we have here? Cheese pizza. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Never mind. Sorry. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, sold out. Hold on, let, hold on, let me read them. Bacon, spicy bacon. You can't do that. Triple meat. All dressed. We don't know what the hell that means. So all the good ones are taken. But I don't mind that one. What was the last one? The triple meat. Uh, oh, so, I kind of like this one. Yeah, but you don't know what it all dressed means. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I'll do it with you. No, that's true. All right, hold on. Yeah. Please hold bank card close to the reader. All right, I hear you. You want to hold this for me, sir, right here? Thanks, sir. So if anybody doesn't know, I've been wanting to open up a restaurant like this. We're good? Bon appétit? Bon appétit. Does that mean we're good? Complete payment. Authorizing. Authorizing. Oh, accept a. Accept a.
Oh. What's happening here? It's going to show us. Accept day. They, they got a. Oh, wait, is that us doing that? Oh, no, no, that's not. Dude, that would have been some creepy inception stuff. I wonder how fast they do it. Flash day. It doesn't say how long. It says minute. That's all it says. I'm gonna see the car and face it. You're not gonna say hi with the kid? No. All right. Good luck trying to get in with uh, it lots. Oh, isn't that funny? All right. It says don't forget to grab your utensils. There's no utensils. Wow. We gotta talk to the company here. All right. Here we go, guys. Again, there. We're getting there. So while uh, while we're waiting for this, um, I've always wanted to open up some sort of like vending cafe where it had um, basically you just need one person to sit there the whole time, uh, you know, just to clean and to have some sort of human face there. But at the same time, you just need to hire one person to be there. And they make all these all over the place. There's like sushi ones, there's pizza ones, there's burrito ones, there's burger ones, there's ramen ones, along with all different. But I also wanna have uh, some vending machines where I put in like local products in there as well. And then hopefully it's a building that we own because I also wanna have the building be completely, it's pretty loud. I also want the building to be completely solar powered and that way it'll cut down on the cost on all the electricity being used. But how dope is that idea, right? I always thought that would be really cool. All right, looks like we're 50% ready here. 50% ready. So I would say this probably takes, I don't know. For here, probably eight minutes or so. Not too bad. So I wonder, so there's two different types of pizzas, right? This looks like, this looks like it was probably a frozen pizza now that I think about it. But there are some way cooler ones out there where um, they're not frozen. They actually, it puts down like the shell of it and then you could see it putting the sauce on it and then you could see all the toppings and then you could see it actually being baked, which I thought was really cool. But these look like they're probably frozen pies, which is fine. Nothing wrong with a little frozen pizza. I think the exchange rate is probably, what do we pay, 18 Canadian? Uh, that's 18 would be $9 would be half, so half of that 450. So we're looking about 13 bucks or so. Not too bad. Oh, popped right out. Is it gonna give me the cutter? Nothing, huh? All right, here we go. Here we go, let's do it. We got the pie. Minute pizza surprise. Voyage. All right. All right, so we just got our, uh, our pizza. Now, I'm gonna say something that I said to the viewers out there, but I'm, I'm gonna reiterate to you. I think that these are just frozen pizzas that they make and then they put it in the thing and it makes it hot for you. Mm -hmm. But the real ones that I've seen in the past is they have the shell, you know, that they actually have right in front of you. And then they put the sauce and you could see it happening the whole time. Mm -hmm. So I think that this is Minute Pizza for my, my Minute Man here, mm -hmm. right? It's okay. I mean, it's, it doesn't look, so there's supposed to be a thing for, you're supposed to get gloves, silverware, a cutter, and napkins, none of them in there. And then there's a, another thing to, for something else, and it wasn't in there. So hold this for a second though. What I'm going to do is we're going we're gonna to drive past it real quick. There's also the, um, you have your um, crumble cutter. Is that in the car? No, no, no I don't get that. 
We'll just take a quick bite then. $13 frozen pizza. More like a taquito? I usually don't like crust. Not bad. You gotta take one bite for the fam though. Of the crust? Just take a bite like I did. Have some fun. There we go. We gotta make Adam young again. It's not bad. Yeah, but it's all crust. Let me get the actual pizza. Where the flavor is. Let's turn down the the French music. Actually, it isn't that bad. It's not that bad, right? Mm -hmm. A little doughy. Ooh, look at that. There you go, buddy. I'll do like a taquito situation here. The cheese is really interesting. Mmm. That's like a cream, it's a creamy cheese. Mm. Probably melts fashion. Or just gives you that, that sense of uh, cheesiness. Hmm. Now people are probably gonna ask, you guys went all the way to Quebec to eat vending machine pizza? Listen, it's snowy outside, a lot of the restaurants are closed. Don't come at us. And this has always been a dream of mine to own a I can't I don't even want I don't even feel like saying the name because I feel like someone's gonna steal it. Yeah. No so. That person will probably be me. Mm-hmm. Additionally, oh no, that goes with the white shirt. Once you get oil on it, done. There we go. But, I'm trying to get the pizza warm. Better than those pizzas at the gas station. I mean, this is the gas station, but you which don't one? Like when you go to like a racetrack or. Oh, yeah. Um, whatever. And people are like, it's only two dollars a slice. Yeah, but if you were to buy the whole thing, you're paying per slice. You're paying way more. We did the math one day, and we we're like, holy! Like, they're getting like twenty five dollars out of that teeny mm -hmm. tiny pizza. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what that cheese is. That's tough. All right, fam. That's it. That's all we have for you right now. We're on our way to old uh, Quebec City. We don't know how much we're going to see because of all this happening down here. A lot of snow. It's not sticking. It's not sticking. Guys, look how pretty it is today. Jesus H. Does it say Wayne's trees? <laughs> Did you just kiss at the camera, dude? We gotta start going like this. Continue around like a little gimbal. Oh, my, my phone died. <laughs> all right guys, check it out. Look at all these cannons. This is, this is Adam's heart right here. Ladies, you gotta get through a wall of cannons. This guy's defense is all the way up. And this is just the outer shell. Yeah, I'm going to go find my outer shell inside. We're freezing Adam out. <laughs> That's where we are, guys. Just from back in the day, obviously. This is the name of the place, 1884. Alright, Pup Dog, what'd you get over here? Mocha Chino. A uh, mix of a. Mocha and a Chino. Alright, and I got a, I got a hot, uh, uh, what did I get? Hot chocolate. I got hot chocolate. Also, I'm representing a little bit of that south in their mouth right here. Representing a little extra south and the extra north. Guys, it's freaking like, it's gorgeous here though. I'll tell you that much. Alright guys, pause to read. Alright fam, we see, we're seeing all these like cube thingies. Oh. Some cool stuff down there? Looks like maybe it was a boat. 
No, that's all, uh, what you call it? That's all brick and cement. France is uh, New France is today Quebec area. Oh, look at that hat though. He's balling. That was a big fancy hat. <laughs> Adam said, yeah, I like the lazies with them. Because there's a couple of them right in front. Uh, Tune in his horn, maybe? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Oh, damn. Is that where the find? We found out where the the term big wig came from from back in the day everyone had syphilis or only the rich had syphilis you would have been a big wig <laughs> you beat me to it ah <laughs> oh, he beat me to it because i was gonna say you would have been a big wig so back in the day i'll tell you guys a quick story we just heard on the joe rogan pa uh, podcast with what's his name uh, it's a great episode i so, can look it up i'm too cold though yeah it is freezing my hands are about to fall off um, so yeah, back in the day, the, the really rich, uh, had syphilis and your hair would grow out. You'd get like lesions and everywhere. And it became, uh, vogue to wear a wig. Well, because you had, if you were bald, that was like, yeah, which you, would have sucked for people that yeah, were actually bald, but you were like out of fashion if you were bald. Yeah. And then also your pussy sores would show. So yeah. then it became... Ugh. The more rich you had, you know, whether you had human hair, horse hair, wigs, and then um, the but, bigger the wig, the, the bigger the baller. Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. And the reason it became really in vogue is because it was King Louis the Fourteenth, right? One of the King Louis. Yeah, one of the King Louis. Um, and then... He started going bald. And then the, uh, the more money you had, the bigger wig you had. So that's... And it's just... It's awesome that terms like that go on for hundreds and hundreds of years. Yeah. So, Just think, like, 500 years from now, people are going to be saying, more money, more problems. I don't think they're going to be saying that, but they would still say, Adam, the great big wig, standing at this spot right here. I need to get a big wig to cover my ears. I'm freezing. It is cold. All right, guys, check out this building. Adam's sister, they came here before, and this building's been here since how long? The building is the oldest in Quebec, 16, like, 65. 1665, longest, oldest building still standing here in Quebec, besides obviously the ramparts and the, and the situation. Adam did point out, since he works uh, with the roofing industry, those gutters need a little extra TLC. Yeah. What kind of, what kind of, ramparts we were watching. Well, <laughs> I got that one. Uh, what kind of roof is this? Talk to us. Uh, it's just a metal, metal roof. And then what kind of gutters are we looking at? Uh, same thing. I mean, those are old as hell. Old. Um, so, really, really old gutter. But the crazy part is, uh, this would have been where Adam and I lived, and all our friends live in places like this. This is like Hans and Gretel's house over here. Yeah. We're gonna. Uh, they're gonna bake us. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're gonna get a little more uh, fuel meals out of you. Oh. <laughs> all right. He's feeling good here, guys. <laughs> All right. I was gonna drop the the player jokes, but oh you just you just recharge them. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, I love when people leave the door open for me to come in. <laughs> love it. Yes. Got that one. Got this one. I'm sure you'd like the Fanta Barbera. Tequila and Mezcal. You know they say Mezcal is actually better than tequila? Not all Mezcal is tequila. And the not all tequila is, is Mez. Tequila uh, allows a bunch of different additives. Mm -hmm. And Mezcal is very highly regulated for the additive. Correct. I'm surprised you know that. Yeah. But I love that you think I just drink... Tequila and guacamole flavored chips. You don't drink guacamole flavored. You eat them with your yeah, mezcal. There we go. That's the deflect, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Done by some very good political parties.
super smoked. I've never seen one like that. I like that piece. Super pretty. Adam's got a sweet tooth over here. You got a salty tooth. And then I got the we got the new Brunswick oysters over here. These are some meat. These are some meaty guys right here. It one looks like it has a pearl in it. <laughs> Whew. All right, fam. We just uh, walked up a bunch of flights of stairs. I'm out of breath and it's cold out, but we just had some drink skis and some apps and oysters and desserts here at the Chateau de Foodie here in Quebec. I think I changed my mind, Adam. I don't want to live in the woods anymore. We're going to become titans of industry and I'm build. On, I'm going to move right here. Right. Right with the light on? With the light They're leaving it on. That's the Motel 6. That's yeah. what you don't realize. Imagine having this whole hotel, the motel, and then you get like overhead. What's that overhead lighting? Mm -hmm. That bad lighting? Oh, uh, the neon? The neon. <laughs> That's part of Quasimodo anyway. Like even down here. The market lights. I'm a big, I'm a big sucker for market lights. Just kidding. Still want to visit these places, but I still want to live in the woods or on some uh, some land. But that's it. We're on. A, it's gone dark. We're gonna heading back to Brisket Bear. We got him a whole bag of uh, treats and um, and toys. As a, as a sorry that I forgot his stuff back at the other hotel and also as a good boy for staying back and being such a good boy. So, can't wait to snuggle the crap out of him. Oh, hello, baby brisket. I got some things for you in here, babe. Yes, but first we're gonna go outside. Yeah, we're gonna go for a little walkie walk. Yeah, a little. No. He's, he's good. No, he's good. He doesn't. He doesn't like do the destroy shit or anything. He's a good dog. Are you gonna even chew that? No. Nope. Hey I don't want to pet you too much because you gotta pee. Come on. Where are you going? Come on. Let me go outside. Yes. You're such a good boy. Who's the goodest boy ever? Honestly, all the training, all just the positive reinforcement. Don't yell at your dogs, guys always give them positive reinforcement and work on work on um you know brisket comes everywhere with us but in the beginning when he was a puppy puppy i worked on separation trust me it was harder for me than it was for him and um you know you have to where are you there's a baby get over here get the babies over here i forgot your leash in the car yes work on separation um, so there's no separation anxiety when you're not there. And he just treats it as like any other thing that's happened and he knows you're going to come back home. But it's okay to get excited sometimes when they get older. And then you have a dog that doesn't chew and destroy things. And everyone lives a happy life. Oh, you're learning, you're learning French, buddy. Yeah? Let's go outside. Oh, we got a snow pup. We got a snow pup, puppy, puppy, puppy. There's no grass over here, babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> it looks like this hotel is still kind of under construction here. Oh, you're gonna get muddy. That's okay, we'll allow it. Oh, there's a little grass. Good oh, boy. Okay, you ready, baby? Oh, 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 someone's a little too excited. All right, what did we get you? Let's see. Okay, well, you have to let me, you gotta let me do it. Oh, no, that's for daddy, no. No, that's for more daddy stuff. Hold on, where's the baby stuff? What the heck is a giraffe? What the heck is a giraffe doing in our, what, what the heck is a giraffe doing in here? You wanna say thank you to the Roadie Foodie fam for getting you that? Yeah? Okay, no, not that stuff. Okay, we got that. What else did we get the baby? Oh, we got a chewing clean. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to open that for you. Okay, we'll figure that out in a second. 
What else did we get? Oh, is this a red ball that we can put treats in? I think so. Yes, we'll figure that out in a second. All right, did we get you anything else? Oh, we got you some water. Let me see. The Daddy Razors, trying a Canadian, trying a Canadian organic energy drink. We got candy because it's cheaper here. And by the way, no lie, fam. I'm literally gonna do a little bit of shopping, like dry good shopping, like this stuff and like candy and all kind. I gotta put a treat in there for you, bub. I'm gonna do some like dry goods, non-perishable shopping at Wally World before we hit back into the border because everything is like 20, 30%. Sometimes some of the things were like 35% cheaper in Canada. So that's gonna save us, think about it. That's gonna save us one third. He already took it out of the package. You want me to put something in it for you? Okay, let's put something in it. Let's, or do you wanna play catch? You wanna show them how to play catch? Let's, hold on. You ready? You're gonna catch it for them? Wait, hold on. Let's get, hold on. Let's get, hold on. Yes, good boy. What a good boy you are. Yes, yeah, so proud of yourself too. All right, let's do it one more time. Let me see. Let me see it. Let me see it. You ready? Yes, good boy. Yes, 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 yes. What are they? The goodest boy ever. The goodest boy ever. Huh? Hold up, baby. A little rescue pup. I can't wait to get another one. Let me see. One last time. Third time the charm. You ready? Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm way too excited about brisket. You saving it for later? What are we doing here? Let me see. You gotta let me see it. 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 Good grip, buddy. You're getting a better grip as you get older. Let's put something in it. What the heck is this song? Let's, uh, just in case that is copyrighted. Thank you. Um, what can we put in here? Little pieces of this. We love this stuff. Road Dog. Local uh, dog treat company in Rhode Island. We always bring their stuff if we have any. Okay, here we go. Let's see how crazy he gets. You guys ready? Watch this. I can't even tell you sit because you're already sitting. What a good boy. Uh-oh, what's in it? Oh wait, what the heck? That was too easy. Did you get all of it? See, he's gonna toss it around. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to, oh yeah. He's gonna toss it with his head. Watch this. <laughs> I love when he does that. I don't think this little, uh, little peanut butter Oreo burrito knows, little chicken nugget knows how much I love him. You have to live forever. I just wanna to put that out there into the universe. Um, all right, guys. So that was kind of our day. Um, Adam's in the shower right now. I'm going to jump in after him. Um, probably wind down for the day. I have a couple of phone calls to make, a couple of flyers to do for work. And then uh, we'll probably say goodnight. That'll be kind of today's vloggy vlog. Um, I'm going to try my hardest, hardest uh, to post the vlogs at night so that you guys, the next morning, you're not watching it for the previous day. But... Um, I don't know. I kind of like having the morning uploads for you guys. So you know what I did the day prior and then we'll do a live later on. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. By the way, no crumbles in Canada, at least from what I've seen. So unless I didn't, I'll have to look. We'll have to take a look. So our crumble review this week might be later in the week, like Friday. So don't judge me. 